Hello, what's going on, pack leaders? This is Pedro Lopez from Wolf of FD. I just want to do a quick video for you guys that are stuck on niche select uh, niche selection. I'm barely stuck on how to pronounce it. Niche, niche. Uh, I'm not really sure myself. So let's just get uh, right into this. I just want to let you guys know that even though I did the report mostly on the fitness niche. You don't have to be tied down to the fitness niche. You can actually go out and look for other niches, and you might actually profit big time by doing so. Um, one of the things that would really help if you actually uh, picked it up on uh, on the actual PDF report, there was the uh, that one report that, that ClickBank did about uh, I think it's I think it's I think it's called Data Bank. It's in that report. If you look for it, I, uh, uh, it really helps you out and it kind of opens your mind up to some niches that you probably did not know that are important or, or popular. Um, so I mean, real quick, first thing I want to say is if, if if you're picking a niche, a lot of people uh, people have a a bit split on on uh, whether you should pick something that just makes you money or something that you actually enjoy doing, or you actually have a passion for. I, 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 my, my, my thing that I think of when I when I think of picking a niche, I ask myself, would I be willing to uh, write a report on that niche? Like, or if, even if I don't know anything about it, would I would I be willing to do the research? I'm not saying you have to go write a report, but if you're promoting this niche, chances are you're gonna have to do a little bit of writing about it. You'd have to sort of have an interest on it. So I recommend having a bit of an interest in a niche you are you're going after. So I mean, you at least um, if it doesn't I mean if it doesn't work well for you at first, because sometimes it, it's, most of the time it probably won't. You're not going to strike gold immediately. So you want something to keep you going, so you can actually keep tackling that niche and maybe go a little further down, dig deeper into the niche, uh, to the sub niche and micro niches. So you can actually maybe target some more, so it's more specific, more specific audience, and actually make that work out for you. So I recommend having a bit of interest in the niche, if not passion for it. So you can, uh, especially if it succeeds, you would actually you actually have the interest to keep it going, so you can actually succeed more on that niche. And there's also a couple of things you want to consider about the niche. You want to ask yourself, are the the prospects in the niche are your potential customers. Are they are they passionate about it? Um, you know, a couple of examples. I mean, I don't want to go back to the fitness, but weight loss. You know, people, uh, people are you know, it's, it's a huge, big problem. I mean, if uh, there are people with problems in that niche also that are willing to spend money to solve those problems, you have to ask yourself if people are passionate. Usually, the biggest motivator to spending money is passion. So you have to ask yourself: Is there a passion for the niche? And also, you just want to ask yourself if, if there's products you can promote. Not only products, but multiple products that you can actually make a sale and make and make sales afterwards to make multiple sales on the products. I mean, is there is there opportunities to make money on this niche? Just a couple things you want to keep in mind before you uh, you go uh, niche uh, niche hunting. So, first of all, I mean, if you if you really don't know where to start, the best thing to do is to actually look at some. Uh, some categories, which these are your markets, basically, and the two best places I think you, you can go is magazines.com, and there's also uh, Udemy. Now, the reason why I recommend going here because these uh, these are two sites that break down categories very well. So you can actually you would actually they they know what they're going after, and they know how to categorize it. So if you're going after something, you want to uh, uh, research it through uh, somewhere that knows how to categorize it. So magazines.com, Udemy is great because it has right here you know, the overall market and then when you look at it it has you know niches that you can pick. And uh and once and once you look at it find something they're interested like for uh, me I, I'm in, I'm into personal development. Um, if you looked at the you know the final word in my PDF you'll see that I, I I'm a big I'm passionate about personal development and I know people that are very passionate about it as well. I mean, being uh, I used to be in the network marketing industry. To any entrepreneurship in this industry, people are passionate about personal development. So this is where I would go. You know, uh, maybe you know something like self-esteem. You can you can target. 
and once you have something you know have something going you want to maybe write down maybe um, you know five to ten uh, possibilities and just do a little bit of research on them well one place to research research is uh, trendhunter.com and also you can do research through Google AdWords all you have to do is have a Google account go to the, uh, what's called go to AdWords and go to actually what's called the keyword planner once you're there all you do is just uh, you click the first option here and search for keywords so let's say we're actually going after self-esteem we can actually look up how self-esteem is doing and actually get ideas to actually go deeper into that niche if we want to so here's where we go if you want to go deeper this ad group idea there's there's you know it kind of plays off the the keyword you gave it so you can actually dig deeper and here it tells you right there you know the average month, average month, monthly searches if you're getting anything over 2000 to 3000 monthly searches especially the competition is low this is something pretty decent to go after the only thing you really have to do once you, I mean you got all these all these options over here the only thing you really have to do I mean and by the way I mean you have this right in front of you it's it's, it's, a, it's a lot of options to tackle uh, it's you know just endless possibilities the first thing I mean uh, before you before before I go on any further into this now you don't have to you don't have to make you can but you don't ha uh, you don't have to you have options you don't have to make the your Facebook page about the actual micro or sub niche what I recommend is to keep your options open is to make the pay, uh, the Facebook page about the actual market and then maybe break it down not that you have to do it like that I just I just like making uh, a more broad Facebook page so I can actually have a uh, a more broad future with it than just making a Facebook page on one specific micro micro niche but you can try doing that I mean you you might end up having one like a hundred Facebook pages um, but that's just what I do so once you have a you know, micro niche here and you see the competition is low and it's getting more than two or three thousand monthly searches then it's getting a, you know de decent att attention you want to go see if there's, if there's a product to promote that's where you go to uh, CV engine it's where you look for Clickbank product products or offer ball now I just looked a little a little bit on offer ball for you know stress management and there's a couple uh, you know offers that are not relevant but I mean I found a couple down here that your audience might be interested in I mean for example you know daily yoga so right here I just gave you a bit of a breakdown on a uh, on niche research basically just beginning to end so all if you just go through this process you know over and over again until you find something that's just perfect you can actually pick the the overall market or the overall you know the, the big niche here and you can actually if the actual uh, the bigger niche isn't really working out for you can work you can use Google to give yourself more ideas on the niche to create yourself a new one and then just start all over again and just go to a CV engine and offer vault and see if there's offers for it so this is basically you know niche research it's, it's really simple it's just a bit tedious if I admit I mean, you just you, you. But the more you do it, the better you get at it. The faster you'll be, and you 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 will eventually have results and you have possibilities. So, I uh, hope this helped you out. Uh, I've been Pedro Lopez, uh, your fellow pack leader for World of FB. I'll see you in the next video.